this video, we're going to look at administering medications through an NG tube. Now, there's a separate video for crushing the pills, so make sure that you watch that one to know how to get uh, these medications ready for administration. Also, never, ever, ever skip your five rights. Make sure you're checking these meds against your MAR and your orders before you administer them. So now that we got the safety disclaimer out of the way, let's just focus on the actual administration part. So let's say we have three medications to give. They've all already been crushed, so you're going to mix each one of them in their own medicine cup with about 20 or so mils of water. Remember that tap water is fine with an NG tube. Also, you want to have plenty of water available to flush before and after each med, so make sure that you have your container of water available as well. Now, you want to mix each medication really, really well in their cup so that it gets fully dissolved. You don't want any kind of clumps or chunks of pills. If you need to crush them better before you mix them with water, make sure that you do that. Also, if you find that you uh, are having trouble getting them to dissolve, sometimes using warmer water helps. Now, once you've got all your meds mixed, you want to remove the plunger from your syringe and connect it to the NG tube. And then you're going to hold it at or above the patient's head. The higher that you hold it, the faster the fluid is going to go down and vice versa. So start by flushing about 30 mils of water, pour it into the syringe and let it flow in by gravity. Now you could manually flush these, but I like the gravity method. I think it's way easier. Um, but if you do need to use your plunger just to get things going, you can. Once that flush flows in, you can pour in the first medication and let it flow in by gravity. Now what I usually do is once the medication or the, or the flush gets to the bottom of the syringe, that's when I'll pour in the next thing or I'll pour in the flush. That way you don't have an entire tube of air that you're putting into uh, the patient's stomach as well. So then you follow that with, again, at least 10 mils of water between each medication to flush that med in. And then you're going to give the second medication. So you're going to repeat that with every medication that you need to give. You're going to give the medication and flush with 10 mils of water, give the next medication, flush with 10 mils of water until you've done all of the medications. Now, again, if you're finding that you're having some clumps, warmer water, obviously not hot water, but warmer water can help dissolve those a little bit faster. So once that flush goes down, you pour in the last medication and allow that to go in by gravity. Again, I like the gravity method because you don't feel like you're pushing and pulling all of the time, um, and you can just pour things in one at a time. Again, sometimes you might need to use the plunger just to push it a little bit um, and get it going. Once that last medication is down, you're wanting to flush at the end with about 30 to 60 mils of water, and I'll usually do this in like spurts of 20 or 30 just to make sure everything gets flushed in nice and good. So once you have gotten all of the medication into the patient, again, if you need to push some manually, you can. Once you've flushed the tube and everything's nice and clear, then you can clamp your tube, secure it, and let the patient rest. Now that the meds are actually administered, you can officially document them. Remember, that's your sixth rate of med administration. All right, so we added a few extra notes in your outlines for other things to be aware of, like if meds shouldn't be given together or if they should be given on an empty stomach. So make sure you're looking at those things as well. And of course, follow your facility policy when it comes to documenting meds, especially if you guys are using barcode scanning. Either way, don't officially document it until the meds are fully administered. All right, guys, go out and be your best selves today. And as always, happy nursing. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you wanna just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.